like it will literally scare you to the point where you like okay i'm done i'm done i can't i can no i can't do it i can't do it like most scary games are just pop-ups or something like that or just scary or they'll pop up and scare you or there's this creepy atmosphere this game takes all the horror aspects and just goes you know what we're gonna dump that out the window and just make you wish you weren't playing it right now because it, it it's Silent Hill is known for its psychological scare more yeah. than it's like Bruh! it's kind of scare. So when you play it, the moods and everything about the game they pick special areas, and I think everything that's most nostalgic about scary games is the hospital. Every horror game has to have a hospital area. If it doesn't have a hospital area, it is looked down upon. Now, um, Resident Evil series didn't, um, didn't have sort of hospital areas, but it had lab areas, so that was represented as their hospital type thing. Yeah. But if you play like any, uh, like with Slender, they also added a, a map pack where you go into like a sort of insane asylum sort of thing like that, and then you have Slender chasing you there. Like it's sort of the the cliche for scary games. Every scary game has to have a hospital in it because if you think about it, hospitals are the perfect place to have scary stuff in it because you have mental patients or you have like creepy doctors that do creepy experiments. Or you're reminded of your own mortality. Exactly. There's just so many things that could screw with you in a hospital. Because they're... Like, if you look at it, hospitals aren't very pleasant in real life to go to. It's like, oh, so many people that are dying or stuff like that. It's not a very happy place. So to put that in a horror game that's absolutely just brain raping, yeah. you're gonna get scared. And I understand there's a lot of people that are like the awesome people or the genuine like people that don't get scared from scary games, which is fine. Um, like Chris from Rewrite to Prey and Seamus, they're not scared of scary games, but they will get scared if there's like a pop up because who isn't going to get scared by a pop up? It's yeah. just the cheapest scare in the world. Um, but like. It's really hard to get scared if you're like that type of person, but I believe if you're a person that's like that, you have to be in a silent room, pitch black, nothing to bother you, and you're just in that environment, and that will truly scare you, especially with the Silent Hill series. If you really want to get scared, definitely play the game with no commentary, just play it by yourself, no lights, no nothing, turn everything off and just play that game. Silent Hill 3 I'm talking about, or Silent Hill 1. Silent Hill 2 is good, but only because it's it's nostalgic for its story and Pyramid Head, pretty much, mm -hmm. and everything about it. But if you really want to play it for the horror aspect, play Silent Hill 1 or 3, and you'll truly know what horror is. Yeah.